All ODCs come standardly with seven components. The back ballistic sock, the back outer sleeve, the side closure system, a pair of tussle straps, internal cummerbund, a set of shoulder straps, the front ballistic sock, and the front outer sleeve. To assemble your ballistics into your ODC carrier, you have three options. The first option is to take your concealable carrier and directly put it into your outer sleeve. The loop on the front and back of your concealable carrier will act for the platform for the rest of the components for the ODC. The other option is to take your ballistic panels and put them into the ballistic sock and then put this inside of the ODC. Your third option is that you can take your concealable Disassemble the front panel from the back, pull down the shoulder, peel back the gator mouth construction by lifting the front tab and then peeling the straps away. Then you can insert this concealable front panel inside of the ballistic sock. Make sure both labels are facing each other. Tuck your tail if you have it on your concealable towards the inside body and insert it into the sock. Once this assembly is inside of your ODC, you don't have to remove the ballistic sock. You can remove the concealable directly out from this V-shaped opening. You will then begin by taking your outer back carrier and laying it so that the velcro side is facing up. Make sure that your flap is extended. Take your ballistics that are inserted into your sock. Lift this portion of the carrier so that the label of your plate pocket is visible. Roll your ballistic and insert it up into the carrier. Push the ballistic as high as it will go inside of the carrier. Fold down the wings so that it now lays flat. The V cut should be slightly visible underneath your pocket. Make sure that your straps are not facing down. Push them upwards into the ear so that you can pull it out of the top where there's a split. Lift the upper portion where you will see a Velcro connection and insert the straps up underneath it fully and Velcro them down for suspended ballistics. Repeat the process on both sides. Inserting it up into the shoulder strap and then velcroing it down. For the front panel, also start the same way with the loop facing up. Take your ballistics and sock assembly. Insert them up underneath into the carrier as high as they can go and fold down the sides. Take your suspension, push them up into the ear Pull it out, 
then lift where the split is and Velcro it down. For the front, there's no need to attach any accessories unless you want to make your attachment from the front to the back. If you do, at this point you would repeat the same process as I described with the back by lifting this and attaching your side closure system along this loop. Keep in mind, if you're not using the sock and you're using a concealable, you will have a strip of Velcro running across your concealable to do this on. Take the flap and close it toward the inside, making sure it's completely velcroed across. Now you'll take your back panel and your front panel, lining up the shoulder straps to whichever measurement you need to adjust, and tucking in the straps underneath the front cover. To install your tussel straps, first make sure that you have two. Open your carrier so that the back body is laying down with the liner facing up. Notice that there is a two inch loop connection that runs to a fabric loop. Locate the top corner of where the two inch loop meets the fabric loop and place the bottom edge of your tussel strap at that location. Do this on both sides and then lay the connection across your front and back shoulder connection. This will lock your shoulder strap and make it stronger to resist drag and rough usage. Do this on both sides. If you wish to move or adjust this, it is easily removable and repositionable. To assemble your ODC side zipper closure, first notice that there is a left and a right. You always want the zipper pull to be at the top when it is closed. You want the shorter section to be towards the front. Take your carrier and turn it over to the back. Disengage the bottom flap and lift it all the way up. Lift your plate pocket so that you can see the label. Take your adapter with the larger loop portion and place it centered on the ballistic panel wing underneath this flap. The general rule for sizing is to make sure that the zipper is over the section that has where the loop meets the Kadura end cap. At this stage, you can adjust for fit by either angling down for a more athletic fit, even for average, or raised up at an angle for a more relaxed fit. Lower your back flap. Ensure that there is 100% contact between the hooks and the loops. And close the bottom flap. Turn your carrier over. Disengage the bottom flap on the front of the carrier and raise it all the way up like you did with the back. Lift your plate pocket, disengage the side to remove the front adapter, and place it on the sides of the front panel directly underneath the hook so that they line up. 
Repeat this on both sides. And lower the bottom flap. Ensure that the panel lays flat and that the zipper is emerging just outside of the bottom flap. Now tuck this underneath and Velcro to the back. And the side adapters are assembled. For your internal cummerbund, lift the side of your side closure. Take the smaller section of hook and place it onto the loop. This can also be adjusted more underneath or more outward. Now turn over your back hair and close the bottom flap, making sure it Velcros completely across. Your internal cummerbund is adjustable as well on the part where it connects. To don the ODC, lift the carrier over your head, locate the front of the zipper adapter, and hold the bottom. Locate the bottom of the back portion with the elastic, hold it at the bottom firmly, and stretch to the front. Link them together and pull up, making sure it is completely flat. Repeat the process for both sides by pinching the bottom of the back and stretching it to the front, locking them into the slide and pulling up.